everybody, and welcome back to another uh, snapshot! Holy moly, this one is big. It's big for a few reasons. Obviously, we are inside of a cave that I didn't bother to make, okay? Like, I didn't place these blocks. This is natural generation of the lush cave biome. Natural generation! Now, right now, I have on my night vision, okay? I can see in the dark, so... I'm gonna turn that off because I'm wondering what all these little lush berry bushes, ooh, what do they look like? Because now we have light sources inside of Minecraft. Hello, spider. I would not like to come across you while I'm playing this game. But look at how it looks without any type of, uh, of effect on. So there's no night vision on right now. This looks so cool. I can even imagine with torches, with like players torch up the bottom, then the top will be all lit up. Did that just grow berries? I swear that one just grew berries right in front of my eyes. This is really, really, really looking cool. Uh, some things that I have noticed right here, I am at the level, I'm at the deep slate level. So we have normal stone up here, and then we transition into deep slate. So it looks like this biome. I know it's dark, but listen, I'm, I'm, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, so we're right here at this transition to deep slate, which is really cool. And as I head this way, yes, you're very loud, zombie. You can see that there is an abandoned mine shaft. Oh, that is so cool. These berry, these, they're growing. They're growing. The glow berries are growing. Which is really, really cool. And obviously you can see um, that the amount of light doesn't really affect the mobs. Because we got lots of mobs hanging out with us. So, inside of this bi biome, we're going to get all of the blocks that we've seen uh, over the last few weeks. So, we're getting all the moss. We're getting the azalea tree bushes. We're getting the glow berries. And uh, there's even some moss carpet around. And, uh, you know, other blocks like the drip, the drip leaves. Now, remember the drip leaves, they needed clay in order to be placed down. So there's lots of clay around. This is a really fantastic way to get clay. Because if you wanted clay to make terracotta in the past, it was like you'd have to spend like hours in rivers. So now you could basically just come down here, find one of these, and just take up all the clay. You can also get the drip, uh, the drip leaves. So that's kind of nice, and uh, you know, have plenty of clay. You would never need any more clay. And then I'm gonna just gonna like little hardcore parkour over here, run one to the other. Yeah, I'm not that great at it. But anyway, this is the look at the first look at the new biome. One thing that uh, is pretty awesome is that we have the new. Azalea trees! So, we saw the one underground, but this, this set of trees is above ground. And this is one of the things that they kind of mentioned at Minecon Li Minecraft Live, whatever they call it, uh, that these azalea trees would sort of indicate that below them is the lush cave uh, for, you know, biome. So you could, you know, they showed you kind of, ooh, look at that. A rooted dirt. Ooh, look at that. So you kind of like go down, 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 and then you'll find one. Ooh, here we are. And now we're, we're inside of the biome. Is that still more rooted dirt? That's a lot of rooted dirt up in here. Does it go all the way down? What is up? What is the story with this? Holy moly, the roots of that tree. That, that is a lot of roots. So anyway, that does not seem, um, <laughs> that does not seem realistic. This is too much roots. There we are. We're way up here and it just keeps going down. So anyway, that's one way to kind of tell where one of these lush cave biomes would be is to look for an azalea tree on the top of the world and then head to, uh, the, you know, the head down from there. There's a, I just noticed the particles. Why did I not notice these particles before? There's so many particles. Holy moly, is that all coming from this one little, little, little blossom? Little spore blossom? Look at all these particles, particles everywhere. So there's uh, three new blocks in this snapshot. The deep slate version of emerald, coal, and copper. Now they didn't include these in the last snapshot because these do not spawn in the deep slate area. So Deep Slate is below zero in terms of the Y level. And 
none of these are going to ever generate in that low of uh in that low part of the world but because the community was like yo where's our deep slate versions they decided to go ahead and make the textures these could also be used for map making they can be used for a whole bunch of different things so there is now deep slate versions of each of those ores even though that will never actually generate in the world we have them for creative purposes. This is also a very, very big technical change. So not only do we get the lush, you know, biomes, which is really, really cool, lush cave biome, but the technical changes include going to a, to a totally new render like pipeline with OpenGL 3.2. And I am not going to even pretend like I understand all of the ramifications of that. Uh, just because I don't. Some things that I've noticed. There's this weird like black edge to some blocks. And you can really tell it. I'm going to right here. So look right here on these blocks. I'm going to try to digitally enhance. Enhance the image. So as I kind of move forward, they go away. So there's some weird. And it almost gets worse. It's like there's multiple steps of these weird black lines in the renderings. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm sure that that's some bug that's going to get, you know, worked out, ironed out. I would, I would hope. Uh, now, one thing that did really, really, really catch my eye was that, uh, and I'm going to read this directly off the blog po post, shaders are now included for all supported render states. Any shader except for the blit shader I think that's B-Lit Shader, can also be replaced in the resource packs. So, uh, I've thrown like, a, a, like an old shader just in here, like into my resource packs folder, but no, it didn't, it didn't work. I, I wasn't really expecting it to, but I was like, whoa, that'd be weird if that worked. Um, so, that, that means that shaders and shader packs may become a little bit more uh, mainstream or, you know, better supported inside of Minecraft where at the moment you have to make sure that you download and install a client that will make sure to run a shader. And, you know, it's just relatively simple just using, um, Optifine, but, oh, whoa, look at that. Well, that's 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 why we call it bug, folks. Um, but it is definitely an extra step. And if the new system can include shaders from the beginning, that is a that is a huge improvement, and that is really, really, really awesome. And I, I'm you know applaud the Minecraft team for building in that sort of functionality because everybody loves shaders. There's not a single person that looks at Minecraft with shaders and is like, that's ugly. So, very, very cool that possibly, and I don't know if this means that shader packs are going to be supported. I'm, I'm kind of going out on a limb here and, and making my own judgments there. Um, it could just only be that some resource packs have some shader functionality in them. Not really, you know, shader packs as we know them today. And that they're using it as more of a technical uh, way to, you know, to make... Shaders happen <laughs> somehow inside of Minecraft, but really some cool technical stuff that I literally know nothing about. Not a lot left in this snapshot. One thing is a texture update, so we got some more new, some more new blocks. <laughs> I'm perfect in English. Uh, so these are the deep slate bricks, and they have a cracked variant now, which I really, 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 really like. Holy moly! And then you have the deep slate tiles, which also have a cracked version. I don't like them as much. <laughs> you gotta like one and then hate another one. Otherwise, like, where's, where's the content, right? No, I'm just kidding. They both look good, um, I, but I could see using this, like, really, really often on floors and in walls. Uh, I really, really like that. This cracked variety is a little bit more subtle, which, to be honest, it maybe isn't that bad. I could really see it being sort of almost like a different accent. Like, the cracked version of it is so subtle, it almost looks like just smaller tiles. No, no, no. Um, but there you go. Those are some new blocks. Some other changes to Deep Slate is now there is an infested version of this. So as I hover over it, you can see infested Deep Slate, just like the infested stone and all the others. So this, when you break it open with a pick, will give you a silverfish. 
So we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, I'm in <laughs> I'm in peaceful mode. So anyway, as you can see, they instantly mine, and they would have put out a silverfish if I wasn't in peaceful mode. Um, so that is pretty cool. And then also we had cobbled deep slate in uh, one of the you know more recent snapshots. Oh, I am not. Look at look at me. I was not in creative mode. I just saved myself. Um, and so you just mine up normal deep slate, and you get the cobbled variety. But there was no way to really get it back in into just deep slate. Now, if you put it into a furnace, so this is cobbled deep slate, it will turn into deep slate, which I think everyone kind of assumed that it would do this, but that just was not a functionality that was in the last snapshot. So it's like, okay, duh, uh, but now we have it. Well, man, that is about it uh, for this episode. We're basically finished. Um, yes, slimes can be made very large. Uh, that is definitely a thing. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Big old slime. Oh, he's gonna die because he's, he's he can't fall. Oh, he's died, but then he split. <laughs> uh, yeah. So slimes can only now reach. Oh, they keep they keep going too fast. <laughs> they move so fast that they um, you know the the difficult the. <laughs> I can't even talk. They're so big. That, you know, a mob would despawn because it's so far away from the player. But there he goes. So, yeah, slimes can be made to a maximum of 128. Uh, so, just, you know, don't mind this massive slime that's just chilling, chilling with us. Uh, that about wraps it up for this snapshot. Uh, very excited. Happy to see the Lush Cave biome. Cannot wait, obviously, until it is actually implemented into the game with all the other biomes. I really want to kind of see how they how they do that. Is there going to be like a top layer biome and then a, a, a lower layer biome? That would be interesting to see. Uh, so I uh, just can't wait until we get it all integrated in it together. I, keep, I feel like I said that the last snapshot. Can't wait till it all works together, y'all, folks. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Share it with your friends. Post it on on uh, via. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of some archaic thing. I was thinking Telegram, but that's an actual app. Anyway, uh, share it around, and uh, if you want to directly support me, you can buy merchandise at Hello OMG or become a member of the channel by clicking the join button to find out more. See you on the next video. Bye!